हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनेस स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनेस इज एन एंजाइम व्हिच इज सीन इन स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस ओके इट दिस स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनेस इज एक्चुअली ए फिब्रिनोलाइसिन फिब्रिनोलाइसिन इज दिस स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनेस विल एक्टिवेट प्लाज्मिनोजन what does this plasminogen do it gets converted into plasmin what does this plasmin do it will form it will cause fibrin multimers or fibrin clot gets converted into fibrin monomers so thus it will dissolve with the clot so as a result it is a fibrinolysin it is lysing or dissolving the fibrin so it is a fibrinolysin so this streptokinase what why is streptokinase present in the a streptococcus this is because this streptokinase if there is a streptokinase it will uh, prevent the formation of fibrin barrier and it will actually dissolve the clot which is formed and thus it can easily spread to the surrounding tissues with the help of streptokinase this uh, spreading to surrounding tissues is very important in development of diffuse lesions like cellulitis and others so this streptokinase can be used in coronary thrombosis actually streptokinase is a drug a drug there is a drug which is called as streptokinase which can be used in the cases of mi but it is not used recently because of because streptokinase is actually de developed from the streptococcus because it is developed from the uh, bacteria it is antigenic so as a result antigenic and allergic reactions are seen to streptokinase so as a result its use it is not used more commonly instead of that we have newer uh, analogs like aliplase aldiplase aldiplase retiplase are available which are recombinant forms and they are used thank you and thank you for watching